São cada vez mais as pessoas de outros países que escolhem o nosso para viver. No interior cada vez mais desertificado, onde os portugueses temem em ficar, um casal norte-americano, Elizabeth e Tom, escolheu o marvão para criar raízes. Tom Larica. I'm uh, from the U.S. Uh, grew up in New York, but we lived uh, together in the Colorado for many, many years. We were matchmaked. The friends, friends, we had mutual friends that brought us together. They thought he would be perfect for me, and I would be perfect for him. Oh, and it worked. It worked, yes. <laughs> Who, he's Dutch and he met a Portuguese woman and they married and they live in Lisbon. And so I visited Lisbon oh, maybe 20 years ago and I did like, I did like Portugal. But then I have a sister and her husband who worked for a while in Angola when they moved back to the Netherlands. It was cold and rainy there. And so we decided together to buy a vacation place here in Portugal. And we Castel came in near Castel de Vida. And we came home. Two, twice a year? Maybe. Yeah, twice a year. And we loved it. And I had a hard time when we would go back to America. I didn't like it there. I missed the people here. I missed the, the quiet, the calmness, the kindness. And I didn't find that in America. So, you tell. Well, yes, she, she told me, she said, I'm, I'm moving to Portugal. You can come with me if you want. Uh, so I, I said yes. <laughs> I would probably not have gone alone, but I, yeah. And then when we decided to move here, all our friends were envious. Yeah. They said, oh, we want to go there too, because it seems such a nice land. And, America's changing and this. We, we had been in Marvau, we had been in Lisbon. We, Lisbon is nice to visit, but it's too busy for us. We'd gone to Coimbra, we'd been to Porto, we'd been to uh, Montserrat, Faro, Faro near Pinish. But it always had something magic here. Yeah. And the people were nice here. We, Portuguese people were nice, Spanish people were nice, there were Dutch people from my country that were nice, so it just felt like home. I was a teacher and so I'm retired and I keep busy here with many friends, socializing, knitting, I go to yoga, um, what else? We walk. We take, we walk every day. Yeah, yeah I, I worked in the finance industry uh, for uh, 25 years. <clears throat> uh, and I always uh, had a, uh, on the side I did music. And uh, when I came here, I do music um, quite often. And usually once or twice a week I perform and that's that's my life here now. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yes, and you you bicycle. Uh, I ride my bike every day. So he has a lot of friends. Like as a matter of fact, a Portuguese friend of us wants to go bicycling yeah. with you later this afternoon. Yeah. So yes, we 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 are retired, but we are busy, very busy. Yeah. So today we were in uh, Porto de Espada for the uh, Festa Alves. Uh, that was nice. And yeah. We we try to do we try to be part of the community. We both take lessons uh, in, in Portuguese. She, she takes them in uh, Povoa, and I, uh, I take mine in uh, by near Santo Antonio with the oh, command. So it's very nice. But he studies harder. <laughs> <laughs> but you can speak already? Yeah. 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 Well, a little. You can say something to me? Nós falamos um pequeno português. Nós 
compreendo <risos> português, é, um, meus vizinhos não falar inglês, inglês, so we have to. In, in, yeah, in, 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 in uh, Santo Antonio, in uh, uh, Rangina, uh, uh, pequenas pessoas uh, uh, falam inglês. So uh, Pequena, yeah. yeah. What do you love the most about living here? I like the people. The people have the right values. That is something I kind of miss. In, in America, life is hard. It's fast. It's... Um, it's all about money. Well, it has to be. There's the... The family values here seem, seem higher. You know, it, it's more important for the people to get together, to share, than that they have fancy stuff. Like our neighbors, they always share. They share their food, they share their eggs, their vegetables. And if we want to give back something, then they, you would hurt their feelings, right? Yeah. Like with Christmas, we bought some gifts, some socks and slippers, and a warm uh, shawl. And they were like crying, it's too much, they said. Simple people. people, and yeah, so people, people are people. so good, because they said, we give you the stuff from Amizara, and we don't need stuff back. And the weather's nice also. Yes, <laughs> and the nature is just yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful here. So, yeah. you will stay? Oh, yes. yes. We, we sold our house in the U.S., so we, yeah. this is our house now. Yeah. This is this is this uh, this is where we live. Yeah, he would rather not go visit America. Yeah. I'm, I'm right? very happy. <laughs> Tell me this. I miss the grandkids, but I would not. No, I don't want to live there. <laughs>